It's been a few years since we dove into what's in my contract. So this video is going to take a look at headings and what the headings section means in your contract. I'm deciphering common contract terms. By the end of this video, you will understand what the headings section is and what the heck it means. I'm Maria spear Alice, lawyer for content creators, and this is the Spear IP Show. All right, so headings. Sometimes it's its own section, sometimes it's in a really long miscellaneous section. But here's what a typical heading section will look like. And here's what it means. It basically means that that caption, that underlined part, sometimes it's capitalized completely, sometimes it's bolded, that word or that partial sentence that's before the rest of the paragraph starts, that's called a heading. The heading section says just because a paragraph might have a particular heading doesn't mean that that heading should affect how that paragraph is analyzed or interpreted. Let me put it into context for you. So maybe there's a paragraph called IP rights, but that paragraph doesn't actually grant any IP rights. Well, without the heading section, someone might try and argue this paragraph section is called IP rights, so that means that I should be entitled to some IP rights. No. The heading section basically says, no, no, no. You can't use the heading to affect what that paragraph means. You need to actually read the paragraph. It's a little bit commonsensical, isn't it? But there you go. That's what the heading section in a contract means. Hope that helps. See you next time. Head to spear-ip.com slash influencer for my latest free resource on dealing with copycats for content creators.